The 915 maintenance warrant has the ability to get to see and play with lots of equipment. The military has lots of vehicles out there, lots of different types of vehicles. Today, as a maintenance warrant officer, it's my responsibility to make sure that the equipment is up and serviceable. But there was a day when I was the soldier behind doing the actual work. But today, I'm the guy that's responsible to make sure it's up and serviceable. You break it, we can fix it. If you like working on electronic equipment and the challenge of keeping systems up, 918 Bravo is the way to go. The exciting, exciting part of doing this as a warrant officer is knowing that what I do makes a difference whether the aircraft is fully mission capable or not mission capable. The one officer corps, it, you know, it, it's the answer for the for the senior enlisted who feel they got more to give to the army than what the NCO corps is going to allow them to give. Started this doing this as an E7. Actually, I was in this position as an E4 back in 1990 as the operator, and, and now to run the section and be mine, it's it is the best feeling there. You know, I have that much firepower. I would tell any young E5, uh, aspiring E5, E6, who wants to become a warrant officer, especially as a 131 Alpha, uh, open the books, learn it, know it. You know, it, it is brotherhood, sisterhood, I mean, a little more esprit de corps. most excited me to become a successful interrogator is try to find out valuable information from enemy soldiers in order to save our troops. I'd like to ask you some questions regarding the instance you had with our soldiers a few days ago. In the course of my schooling and course of military education, I learned the importance of how to read someone else's mind is most valuable information. Mr. Shim. Sir. How's the interrogation go? We got the right information from him. I think we got him. Being able to make the enemy to our friend is the highest reward we can achieve as an interrogator. The greatest reward is taking care of my, my soldiers, taking care of my NCOs, taking care of, of the privates and the younger guys. Being a warrant officer is the best job in the Army. I was a battalion supply sergeant, which basically took care of ensuring that the soldiers had food, clothing, place to stay, all the proper equipment they needed. The most exciting part of my job is, again, taking care of soldiers. That's, that's what it's all about. As a property book warrant officer, I'm responsible for all kinds of vehicles and equipment, like this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, this, MLRS. Warrant officers bring in a lot of technical and tactical expertise. I mean, the field in computers changes constantly. And I think just with the ever-changing, there's so many opportunities for us warrant officers out there. If I were to say anything to anyone out there that, that would want to become a uh, warrant officer, I would say go for it. it. It has been by far in 18 years in the Army the best thing that I've ever done. The main thing that excites me about this job is the opportunities I have to move further up and training and everything else that uh, goes along in the signal arena and, and, and in the current IT world. It makes us feel awesome when, when they know that they're relying on us to give them the right answer. The main thing that attracted me to the Warrant Officer Program was um, uh, 17 years as an enlisted person, I, the challenge wasn't there anymore. If you got a dream or desire to make a difference in the National Guard, I think the best way to do it is through the Warrant Officer Program. There's a lot of excitement and it's hard to give up that adrenaline push once you've gotten a hold of it. 
And I know the quote's the adrenaline junkie, but it truly is, and after a while, it becomes part of your life. For me, there's many different variations of the excitement level, and that is that from airborne drops, and that includes the halo, that includes static line from helo helicopter operations. As a warrant team leader, I think the greatest accomplishment would be the accomplishment of the mission itself. I know personally, as a physical challenge and a mental challenge, it's probably the only place that I could seek that is in the Special Forces community. If you feel that you have the capabilities to lead, then definitely Special Forces is the place to go. As you've just seen, being a warrant officer is an exciting and challenging career. If you're between the ages of 18 to 46, a U.S. citizen, achieved a GT score of 110 on the ASVAB, passed the standard three-event Army physical fitness test, meet the Army's height and weight standards, pass a Chapter 2 appointment physical, and are capable of obtaining a secret security clearance, we may have a warrant officer opportunity just for you. Openings vary depending on your enlisted feeder MOS and civilian skills. For current requirements, contact your representative at your local officer recruiting team. Once the application process is complete, you will be scheduled for a federal recognition board and reserved into your class at the Warrant Officer Candidate School. Results may vary depending on your personal commitment and dedication to the Warrant Officer transformation process. If you think you have what it takes, I challenge you. And I challenge you. And I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you. We challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you to become an ordinance AG. Quartermaster Signal. Military Intelligence. Aviation. Special Forces Warrant Officer. Army National Guard. Accept the challenge. Apply today and take the first step to your new and exciting career in the Army National Guard.